have a confession to make about Larry, and it's kind of brutal, but at the same time, it's a true testament of how durable these things are. So Larry has probably not had an oil change in about five years or more. So it's got one of those things, the self-changing oil systems, AKA it burns oil so you add it when it gets low. If you don't know the backstory on Larry, my sister got this when she was 16, drove it throughout high school, beginning of college, bought her a car. My dad got it back. Um, he drove it for a while, then I bought it from him, drove it for a while, and then it got on the channel and has turned into Larry that we all love. Honestly, as long as I can remember, this truck, it burned oil, you put oil in it, and that's literally how it's lived. And this thing's had probably every weight under the sun put in it, and it's, it doesn't care, it just drinks it up. We're going to go take this thing for a spin, get that oil all nice and churned up in there, and we'll see what it looks like coming out. So let's get this oil change knocked out. You might just be here to see what comes out of the truck, but if anyone is following along to do their own oil change, here's what you're gonna need. Oil filter wrench, 5 8 socket. Personally, I have to have pliers because the top of my cap fell off, so I have to use pliers to get the cap off. Oil drain pan, little roller thing if you want. And then this is the oil we're putting in there. This is a special they had at Advance Auto. I like this high mileage, full synthetic stuff. Um, I've ran it a couple times in different vehicles and it's been good. So like that, the special was with a K&N filter and eh, you know, it is what it is. But like I said, this thing is used to every oil under the sun. So it should be happy with pretty much anything. So anyways, let's dive under, see what comes out of this thing. I'll give y'all a quick glimpse under Larry, just to show this thing does not leak a drop of oil. It burns some, but unlike most old Chevys and stuff, do this thing as dry as can be under here. Transmission, engine, Larry does not leak a drop. So, 5 8 let's pop that baby off. Oh, yeah, this might be fun. Wait, lefty loosey, right? Lefty loosey, righty toddy, yeah? I hadn't even really crossed my mind how much of a pain this might be to get this bolt off after so long. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying also not to burn myself. Oh, yeah, there we go. That feels terrible, to be honest. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a little black. This bolt does not. Okay, there we go. It's gonna well, it still don't feel great. I hope this wasn't one of those cases where they gave it a good one-two ugga duggas. I actually forgot to take the cap off the top and the. Um, dipstick I'm gonna do that and that way it'll drain better all right got the cap off the top and the dipstick I mean it's definitely like gross and dirty I guess we'll see maybe this is a magnetic drain bolt we'll see if there's any goody on the... there we go yeah looks about like tar Oh, very black. I don't know how much y'all can even tell under here. It's not sludgy at all. It's nice and liquidy. So that's a good sign, you know. At least we didn't have a solid come out of there. So once this drains all the way out, oh, almost looked clumpy there. Probably not. Uh, let's get up here and take that oil filter off. Wasn't on there very tight, man. All right. Oh, 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 hurry, hurry, oh, oh. All right. Yummy. Let that drain out, that will take her off. So this is the thing I dislike the most about these K&Ns is because they put this thing on there. Oh yeah, it's a great idea, you know, that you know, way you can put a wrench on there. Well, it also makes it where it can't stand up. So you gotta sit it somewhere, obviously right here, not a big deal, but I'm just gonna go ahead you want to pour some oil right down there in the middle. Don't get it on the return things. I've heard you're not supposed to. I don't really know. Probably don't matter. 
This is the 5.4 engine. It takes six quarts, supposedly. Rub it on your seal. You want this thing nice and lubricated so that it'll seal up properly. A little pro tip if you do get a can in, just use your oil wrench, lay it flat. It'll sit in there. Waiting for this thing to finish dripping. And then I'm gonna throw that in there. And then I'll catch your wheel up top. Okay. Oh. Gotta make sure it didn't go into an alternate universe somehow. Nope, it's in there. Time for the scary part. First start up. Oh, money. I don't know if y'all can see that. Dead in the middle. Absolutely perfect. Let's go take it for a spin. See, see I don't know. I don't know. Let's just take it for a spin. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, Larry on a slow back road is just a menace to society. Like, literal disturbing the peace. With no intent, just... everything normally by myself and it does kind of burden me because there's I see so many cool clips on Instagram and YouTube and stuff that I know I can do the same thing but with my trucks but I don't have anybody filming me I just need to get somebody to film me I'm just so busy all of my friends are busy just life in general is busy I usually just do stuff by myself but I'm missing out on a lot of awesome looking content if I had someone else filming All right, guys. Well, that's going to be about it for this video. So for everyone that's always in the comments saying more Larry content, here you go. Little maintenance video for old Larry Bear. Definitely well overdue. Not having an oil change. It's in that long a time. It's not a good idea. Not all engines are the same. Some would not survive. Some would be super clogged up. But old Larry Bear is a freaking beast. But got some fresh stuff in there. Larry's good for another 10 years. <laughs> Just uh, keep topping her off. But I got some more content coming for Larry down the pipeline. Definitely look forward to that. Larry's definitely gonna be getting a new stance here in the next month or two, if uh, shipping will ever ship stuff. But yeah, anyways, definitely comment down below, say more Larry content so I'll continue the grind with Larry. And of course, Blizzard out there, if we're still calling it that, I'm undecided because y'all haven't seen the video of me calling it that yet. But <laughs> anyways, hopefully y'all enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next one.